welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. You're with David today, and today I am going to show you how to save your PowerPoint in Presentation View. The reason for this is I, I was recently doing a presentation for somebody, and I found that I was saving GIFs in it, and when I forwarded that presentation onto the person who needed it, they weren't able to use the GIFs, they weren't able to view the GIFs moving, which took away a bit of the feel from the presentation. Now, what I had to do in the end was I had to shave it as a, save it as a PowerPoint show. So I'm going to go through today exactly what it is that I had to do to get it saved as a PowerPoint show. So let's begin. So I have created a presentation, quick presentation on Android O, the latest operating software from Google, Google's Android devices. Uh, not yet released. Will be out in autumn of 2017. So we'll have a quick run through of the presentation that I've created here. Uh, you see slide after slide. Some of the objects have transitions and animations. For instance, this slide here has an animation. These pictures here, they're actually GIFs, so they will move. And also this this is like a mini video is a GIF as well. So that will also move. Now I wanted I didn't want to give this person right access because I didn't want them to be able to change the content of the slides. Usually I would save it as a PDF and get it across to them. However, PDF you can't play GIFs. So that was no point in doing that. So if I quickly run through this, which is just to show you exactly how it looks. So you can see if I come to this page here. So these are GIFs, so you can see they're moving now. Brilliant, perfect. You can see when I press this, this comes in, and then this picture as well, this GIF is gonna move as well. So we need to save this as a PowerPoint show. So if we go to File and Save As, I'm going to choose this computer and then I press more options. So I'm going to save it in my documents so we know where it is to find it. And I'm just, let me just name it Test PP. Now, next you want to choose the save as type, and this is where it's important. Now, mine's already selected as PowerPoint show. Yours probably won't be, it'll probably preset the PowerPoint presentation or PPTX. So you've got all these multiple versions here. You can save it as a video, you can save it as a PDF, an XPS document, etc., etc. But what we're looking for is PowerPoint Show. And you can see that right here, PPSX. So we just press save and then go to our documents. You see it's now been there created. If I double click on that to open it, there we go. It's brought me straight into presentation view. I'm not going into PowerPoint itself. If I scroll through this now, you will see my GIFs are working, my animations are working, and we are done. So that is a really handy tip. If you ever need to share your content, share movable slides without actually having to share the bulk of your PowerPoint, what it allows you to do is it stops people from editing your content. That way then you know the right message has been delivered. It's also really handy if you need to share it with somebody who say who missed your training or missed your, your presentation, they can now go back through the slides the way you want them to go through it. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching today. If you'd like to see anything in particular come up in the next few videos, don't be afraid to put that in the comments below. Also, subscribe, getting videos out every week. Adios. Thank you for watching our latest video on PowerPoint Training Online. If you liked it, don't, hit, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe for all the latest updates from PowerPoint Training Online.